Hello everybody, Gliderman here. Today, today we're going to be looking at looping. And that may be a little bit of a weird thing to say, but uh, let's get into it. Uh, for right now, we're going to just delete these two methods here that we were calling in the last episode. Just press delete or backspace on a Windows computer and press enter slash recharm. Now, what we're going to do is uh, do some looping. So we're going to type while and you're going to see it does the syntax highlighting uh, by making it purple. Uh, press space and do uh, an open parentheses which will autocomplete a closed parentheses. Just arrow over, press space, open up the brace, and then press enter or return. So what we've got here is what's called a while loop, which basically means that while whatever is in these parentheses is equal to true, it will do everything repeatedly in this, in between the two braces here. So let's just say uh, we put in the travel and rotate method. So just type in travel and rotate and open parentheses, arrow over, and semicolon. And so now whatever's in here, while that's true, it'll say, okay, check if that's true, call travel and rotate, which will travel 12 inches, rotate 90 degrees, and then it'll jump back up here, reevaluate the statement here. Let's just say you had a button being pressed or something like that, and you wanted to check and see if it was pressed. Um, you would do so basically there. And so it would just continue on that loop until that was false. And basically you can say true is yes and false is no. So what we're going to do for right now is we're going to just type true. And you can see that it has syntax highlighting uh, by making it purple there. And it has a lowercase t. Um, there are some other languages that have uh, capital. So now what will happen is it'll jump into the program in the main method, create the project by calling the constructor here, the constructor will set up the pilot here, and then it will loop forever because a true will never change. That is kind of, you know, self-evident. And then it will just continually loop and call travel and rotate. So that's the basic premise of the while loop. Um, there are some other forms. I don't think I'm going to cover them here. Um, but let's just say uh, we start doing some other variables here. So we're going to create a new variable, similar to how the differential pilot was set up. So we're going to go up here by clicking up there and press enter slash return. And then what we're going to do is we're going to type B-O-O-L-E-A-N. And that will be the Boolean. So a Boolean is a true or false variable. So we're going to just press space and we're going to call it loop because uh, it's going to be our looping boolean. And so we're going to go down here, and in our constructor, we're going to assign loop. So just type loop, exactly like you had it up here, and then press space, do the assign, which is just a straight up equal sign, and then we're going to just assign it to true. And don't forget the semicolon. So now our while loop can use this variable called loop. So we can just type in loop there. And while loop is true, then it will loop. So uh, we can also modify loop in the while loop. So we're just going to do loop is assigned false. And uh, so now it'll say we've got a global variable pilot and a global variable loop. Now down here we're assigning the pilot to the new differential pilot, and we're assigning loop to be true. Our while loop is equating to be true, and therefore it is going to do this, uh, as loop is assigned true, and it's going to call travel and rotate, which is going to travel 12 inches forward, rotate 90 degrees, and then the next line in our uh, brace here is loop is going to be assigned to false. So then, when it hits this end brace here, it is going to reevaluate loop. 
which now that it's false, it's not going to uh, use, it's not going to go through the while loop again. And instead, it's going to uh, return out of that and continue with statements that we have down here, let's just say. And when it hits the end, it's going to exit. So that is a basic introduction to uh, the while loop, and I hope you enjoyed that. See you later. Bye!